is waterfront development. Page. Uh, page 21. <coughs> Talk about very few areas on the waterfront have municipal utilities, so most wastewater is treated on site with implications for water quality. Jostle has municipalities, Houghton has municipalities, Hancock has municipalities, Tamarack, Hubble, Lake Linden, they all have municipal utilities. The report makes it sound like sewage is running off into the canal in Portage Lake, and it's not. They all have wastewater treatment all the way around the Portage Lake. You're painting a picture with your words, it isn't true. Uh, I think the intent of that was to uh, was to uh, demonstrate that there are a lot of private cottages, private homes that are served by on-site sewer systems. Which have been running for years and years and years and there's no problem. I, I don't think that water, that water evaporates. Mm -hmm. you know, all you do is ask anybody who knows about septic systems and mound systems, mound systems don't work. Are you saying there is a problem or there isn't a problem? I don't understand. There's no saying. problem. I'm saying most of our waterfront is covered by municipal water. When, water. We were look, when we were looking at it, we were looking at Bucha and all those areas. But the open. largest area of water is the municipalities. The largest number of homes. What I'm saying is the paint, picture you're painting with your words, first thing I thought of is, wait a minute, all the way around the lake, so maybe it should be more specific that there are many cottages and homes that are not. Mm -hmm. I'm cataloging these comments now. This is page 21. 21. I've got, I've got every one of them listed here. Okay, thank you. So that's not. By the way, would it be, you know, to save me the writing, would it be possible? I'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll just send this to you to send that. Sure. In fact, you can have this because I printed it. And I think that, by the way, I, and I think that was, if I'm not mistaken, because I, I, I'm kind of look through the old mm -hmm. of, of yeah. plan and I think that appeared that appeared in the in the other plan too and and I don't know that it was meant to be inflammatory but I understand what you're saying yeah. you know one of the things that this gentleman is bringing up here is the dialogue who wrote the dialogue that was just put together by you people the dialogue in here does present a lot of negative looking things that in perception aren't really there um, who, who put together the agenda on how this was written? Originally, the, the original yeah. master plan back in 2006 uh, came, they're, they're kind of model master plans out there. Okay, so you use the model. We kind of like when you have the page where it plan. says positive and negative. So positive is what and negative. You know, it's like uh, <coughs> on one page you have in here how the negative things we have to deal with with winter. I mean, why is that negative? That's what we have to deal with. It's not negative. Well, if you read through, if you read through that section. I read the whole thing. Don't say if you. As I read through it, what? Help me. When I read through the section on winter, what I take out of it is that uh, we basically are saying in this particular area of the U.S., winter is one of our prime features. And that section in the land use never plan... Never seen that in there, prime features. I've never seen that in there. In that section in the land use plan actually takes pains to say first, some people view it as a negative. But here are the things we think are wonderful about winter. It's a terrific opportunity for this area to capitalize on winter in order to draw development and recreation. That's what I read into that section. That, that was on the positive side. Okay, on the negative side, what did you read into there? All right, well, I tell you what, I understand your comment. We'll look at how that winter section is worded again.